Yo, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flicks, Picks, and the Nitpicks, and I am your humble host, Nov718, and we are going to watch the trailer for Unhinged by, uh, what is this guy's name? Russell Crowe, yeah, Stern Russell Crowe, I guess he plays a bad guy, which is going to be interesting, I'd like, to, I'd like to see actors stretch their prowess, if you will, so... Hopefully we'll see a side of Russell Crowe that we've never seen before. I somehow get the impression that this is supposed to be kind of like that John Travolta film of that like weird. I think it is called Fanatic uh, by the guy that was in directed by the guy that was the lead singer in Limp Bizkit, uh, Fred Durst, I believe. It got that kind of vibe from the poster, and I almost feel like I heard people or mm -hmm. reviewers talk about it in that light. But I haven't watched like a full review. I think I listened to it a little bit because I wasn't familiar with this film at all. Like it went completely under my radar. So let's go check out the trailer together. Hopefully Unhinged is good. I'm hoping it is. I like Russell Crowe. He's a good actor. He was in one of my favorite movies, Gladiator. And I like to see him do something very interesting. And yes... Yeah, he's getting a lot bigger, but he's older. I mean, I would have liked to see him stay more. It feels like he's getting older as opposed to him just letting himself go. And I I wouldn't want to see it. I mean, if that's how he wants to be. But I don't. I, I like the more fit Russell Crowe. You know, the guy that I remember when I entering, doing, doing uh, Gladiator, one of my favorite films, you know. And I like to see him back to that type of prowess and making like L.A. Confidential. Those type of films. Um, even the one that he did with Denzel Washington, the futuristic joint. Uh, not Ricochet. Um, I forget the name of it. But, it. but it was with Denzel Washington. It was Denzel Washington's first action film. And I remember he said he was going to do it again until, I think, Equilibrium. Not Equilibrium. Um, Equalizer. Prior to that, I don't think you would consider Training Day much of an action film. But it, neither here nor there unhinged i want to i would like to hope that he didn't mail it in this isn't like the the comedic career choices of nicholas cage because that's why i keep hearing about nicholas cage he's got these miscellaneous films and it seems like that he's he, it, I don't know. Just looking at the trailer, it feels like that's where it's coming from, and feeling the energy around it. Like, like I said, that's only I think only seen one review, and I didn't see all the way through. They was talking about it, and I, I just feel like I get that type of energy from it. But I'm hope I'm wrong. But we're gonna check out the trailer together. It's called Unhinged, the Hurrying Russell Crow, and uh, let's hope this one is good, man. Yeah, I did hear a little bit. Yeah, I watched a little bit of that. Uh, what you would call it? Of that review. Can I remember what this is about? You know what a courtesy tap is, young man? It sounds like this. It's light. It's friendly. I'm sure, that's what your mom meant to do. No, it's not. Mom! <laughs> Having a kind of a hard time lately. I'm sorry. You accept my apology? Just ignore him. Well, if you could just do the same, we could press reset. I don't have anything to apologize for. Can you go, please? <laughs> <laughs> you like that hot shit? A word. Respect my apology. Damn, Ma'am, are you okay? I'm pretty sure the guy in that truck. These type of movies me. are cool. He's road cool. raging. Why don't you just chill, man? Go your own way. I think you really know what a bad day is. But you're gonna find out. <laughs> that man stole my phone. Andy? I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for you. Uh, whose phone is this? I'm right across from your friend. Hey, listen to me. Uh, he's not a friend, okay? He's a psycho who came after me today. This is where your first lesson begins. Give me my phone. Oh, Put him back on this goddamn 
great. No, I can't do that. <laughs> He's just wilding the fuck out. He had like one what long you day. Let this is like learn what a bad day really is. Holy cow. I need you to learn how to say sorry. Man, you're gonna learn through violence and retribution. Sounds like you're waking up. I'm <laughs> the first wake. You know what's on. You better bring your A game. You're gonna need it. Yeah, this ain't no cheese movie. Someone put some, they put some money, some money is in this movie. Some money is in this movie. And I like what I see so far. This will be very interesting for Russell Crowe. It's a little bit of grated cheese. It's a little bit grated cheese, but it's old school 90s film, like, kind of thriller. But one thing they could could have done to give it a better dimension is if it was clearly her fault. Or rather, you could see where it you could really more lean on to his reason why he did what he did. And it could have leaned on an apology. I wouldn't have given that away in the trailer. I would have made it more like in the film. All she had to do was apologize. But she, in the trailer, I would make it look like... He, I would cut it in a way to make it look like it wasn't... It, it could have been his fault, but you're not really sure. But when you watch the film, it's really her fault. You know, you could see how that went. Like, she could handle that shit. And then he it spun out of control. So, now, it would have been a shared thing. Now, some extra reviewers might be like, oh, it's not good. You might send mixed messages. It's not about the message, per se. Well, it might be. But it's not really a message. It's more about making it less of a more gray, gray of an area. Because life could be that gray. Like, you could have initiated something that someone took way too far the other way so there's something to be learned on both ends because that's how life tends to be a lot of time not everybody you don't really have you may not call on that the end effect per se but if you initiate it you kind of like share part of the blame now, it depends on also how far you, you ratchet it up. This motherfucker took it past, like, it didn't have to be that way at all. Like, you you employed, like, death, like and which makes it something else. But it would make it more interesting if she was more of a dickhead about how it happened. But it, it was more of a, like, it should have even mad. I could just be a dickhead to be a dickhead and get over shit. But you realize you got to chill, especially because some people don't just let shit go. And then, you know, it's still a movie, so you want to make it go that way. The trailer makes him look like he ratchets it up, like, to a com almost comedic matter. matter. Mm -hmm. Or it rides that very, very fine line. Like, there, you kind of really ratcheting this shit up. So I think it would have probably we and I, they probably add a lot more because he's holding like a wedding band, if you will. So they should also develop his character to kind of bring us to this point in which a man would actually break. I think falling down did an, a great example of it. it was a great example of it. If you can give it a falling down look where it's a good film and it really says a lot someone get into their breaking point this one doesn't seem like it says anything about getting to your breaking point and, be, and more so because it seems like it's more about her as opposed to falling down me and more about the guy where you can really see it from his point of view you know but um let's check the trail out again i like what i see so far i am positively surprised by it's non cheese like <laughs> like like filmmaking quality cuz it easily could have went that way like to be quite honest like i really thought it might have been one of those cheese made films you know but anyway let's check it out again one more time and go like you can tell it's a quality film cuz i'm looking at it this is a movie this ain't like some netflix shit is it? H, I think it's it directly to Netflix. 
It looks like a film. Like I think this might have been scheduled for re uh, a film release. You know what a courtesy tap release. is, young man? Sounds like this. It's light. It's friendly. I'm sure, that's what your mom meant to do. No, it's not. Mom! Okay. Having a kind of a hard time lately. I'm sorry. Because he apologized. Accept my apology? Just ignore him. Well, if you could just do the same, we could press reset. I don't have anything to apologize for. Ah! Okay. Oh, okay. He's like, okay. Your day is fucked up, lady. Like, this seems like a big jump. Ma'am, are you okay? I'm pretty sure the guy in that truck's following me. He's road raging. Why don't you just chill, man? Go your own way. Bitch, I go shit. I don't think you really know what a bad day is. But you're gonna find out. <laughs> oh, man, he's an old man now, though. That man stole my phone. Andy? I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> phone is I'm right across from your friend. Hey, listen to me. He's not a friend, okay? He's a psycho who came after me today. This is where your first lesson begins. Give me my phone. <laughs> Put him back on this goddamn phone! No, I can't do that. That nigga's fucked up. Grabbing all other people in there. And like, they got their heads down. Like, when he shot all of them or something. What do you want? I need you to learn what a bad day really is. I need you to learn how to say you're sorry. <laughs> and you're going to learn through violence and retribution. Sounds like you're waking up. I'm wide awake. You better bring your A game. Because you're going to need it. But like I said, man, I like it. I like it, man. Um, I hope you guys like it. Let me know if you've seen this film already. I think this actually is available online. Let me check. Hold on one second. Okay, it's released July 1st. Okay, so it didn't come out yet. All right, great. So, yeah. um, Would it be something I've seen in the theaters? Eh, more than likely, I won't. But, I mean, I got the AMC movie pass in, I don't know, early July. Might not be going to theaters or summer like that right now. But we'll see. We'll look into, it. We'll look into that down the line. We'll see how that goes. Um, Probably go see a movie in the summertime, but not July. Maybe in August. But anyways... Either in or dead, let me know what you guys think. Did you like the trailer? Are you excited for it? Do you feel like this might be a cheese movie? Or you think that this actually looks like something that is like might even surprise us all? I do believe it's going to be entertaining. That much I do believe. It's just what kind of entertainment is going to be. But in any event, let me know what you guys think down below. Like, share, subscribe. See you next time. And as always, I'll have a good outro. Chill. Sure, you're going to need it.